Jer found himself standing in front of a wall of crystal blue water. There were people behind him on dry land doing their best to bring him down. Family, neighbours, friends and teachers all had something negative to say, some grudge they had been keeping. He reached out his hand and felt the gentle water relaxing him all the way to his shoulder. He felt a soft, liquid hand pull him in. He fell forward into the calm, warm ocean. He tried to walk but started floating instead. His former sense of gravity now useless. His body slowly leveled out. He started swimming deeper and deeper with every stroke, away from it all, looking back now and then, just to remind himself how beautiful everything was. There was no fish, nothing but Gerald and the most turquoise water he had ever seen. The ocean grew darker as he swam further and further from the troubled surface. He laughed, letting bubbles rise. He heard a distant plunging sound but kept going. He kicked his legs with glee, swam up, down, across and back. He spread his arms and gleamed from his mouth to his eyes when he smiled. Jer could hear the sweetest sound, a voice from below, every note like it was made by a fine-tuned instrument. He had to swim a little more, following the sound of this beautiful spirit. He saw a woman brushing her hair. In the water, she could see her reflection. She sat there brushing her hair and singing to herself. The scene gave Jer a sense of absolute contentment. It was an ideal he aspired to achieve in his life, to have a love like this, someone who was completely satisfied with her own existence. Someone who could love him completely in return. He treaded water for a while, just watching her. 